As you cross the Lane Bain Bridge in Brownsville, Pennsylvania, a beautiful sight may catch your eye. This place is known as Nemecolon Castle. The castle is full of history starting in the late 1700s, but this is only one aspect that attracts visitors. The others are the spirits that roam throughout. The castle was built in the late 1700s by a man named Jacob Bowman. At first, it was just the trading post and a room above it. As time went on, new additions were added to the building such as the East Wing, which was built after Nelson Bowman acquired the house from his father. The last people to obtain the home were Charles Bowman and his wife, Leela. Leela was the last person to live in the castle and her wish was for the home to be made into a museum which holds more than just history today. Jacob Bowman had a daughter named Anne Elliot Bowman. She got married to Henry Schweitzer and together they had seven children. Anne passed away in 1876 and was buried at a local churchyard in Brownsville. Even though that is where her body resides, many believe that her spirit remains at her previous home of Nemecolon Castle. A few years ago on a snowy Christmas night, a director from the castle who lived nearby was walking his dog in the yard. As he glanced up from the yard at the window, he saw a young woman in her mid-twenties with dark hair glancing back at him from inside. As he looked back at her, he knew she seemed to be looking directly at him. She then slowly faded back behind the curtain. Being that it was a holiday, he knew that nobody should be inside of the castle. He walked over to the entrance and found no cars in the parking lot. There had also been a recent snowfall, yet there were no footprints in the snow. He called another director and they searched the castle for any trespassers but found no one. The director, however, knew that he had seen a woman in the window. A few weeks later in January, that same director was helping clean the castle in the off-season. When he entered the library downstairs, he noticed a portrait of Anne Bowman on the wall and her appearance was striking. It was then that he knew, without a doubt, that this was the same woman who he had seen looking at him through the window just weeks earlier. If you enjoyed this story, there are plenty more to hear during ghost tours and history tours at Nemecolon Castle. When you visit, you will learn more about the Bowman family and how they started their legacy. You might even be lucky enough to come in contact with a Bowman. As the staff at the castle say, it is not haunted, it is spirited. <laughs>